last because you can move on to a 200 metre now. Basically, um, the, the modifications on the SE80A3, mainly being the Serra coating on here, which replaces the uh, parkerisation of the, of the SE80A2, um, which through image intensifying, held up against uh, multi-terrain pattern material such as this, it, it doesn't stand out as much. Additionally, with the A3, we've got an, an inline Picatinny, which allows uh, inline sites to be fitted in front of the day site which mitigates having to take the day site on and off um, which may affect a zero it's going to allow much more flexibility in the front there the sea weld on the front here has been developed in such a manner that it improves accuracy the the recoil of the weapon is more pre precise uh, which enables it to group far 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 better than the a2 at, at ranges up to 600 meters Specifically, we've removed the 60mm mortar from service, we've removed the light machine gun from service, and we've removed the light support weapon from service. We've brought in more sharpshooter rifles, and that has allowed us to uh, increase our precision, but probably more importantly, increase the range that our sections are effective to. So what we've got now is both short, handy weapons for close quarters, and weapons within that section that are employed for longer range targets. So, not only have I fired this weapon, but perhaps uh, more compellingly, we frequently have civilians up here from places like Defence Science and Technology or from um, Defence Equipment Support. And people routinely pick up a weapon that is not zero to them and will hit at four and 600 metres. And that's genuinely remarkable for that calibre. We have a more accurate, more lethal weapon than almost anyone else out there.